Once your affiliates are up and running, um, there'll be a couple of reports and ways to deal with clicks and with sales. And I'm going to click on transactions over here and click on raw clicks list. And what this does, it shows how many clicks from a particular referral, referral URL and the IP address and information about the clicks that are coming from your affiliates. And you can see, okay, some affiliates are getting a lot of clicks, some are not getting a lot. And you can get more information about these, like the affiliate details right here, clicking that magnifying glass. So this is where you get some good information about the clicks. And then over here you click on commissions. And it's kind of broken because of the way the uh, this browser is so small. So I'm going to expand the browser and it's going to go outside the recording, but you'll see. I'll have it zoomed to see what I'm doing. And you've got commissions here. Uh, these are all the sales, the total cost of the sale, and the order ID that all came from the tracking information that's inside your online store. Even the product ID that was bought when it was a single product system. The date that the sale was made, what campaign, what type, uh, the status of the sale. I have these on auto approved, so it's showing them all approved. And whether they're paid or not, which affiliate it was, that type of thing. And you can click on right here the edit button and come in here and get more details, change details, change the total cost and commission, put in notes and even some more tracking details here um, about that particular sale. So a lot of information right there. And you can take it, if you, if you know this was a test sale, you can click on it and click delete and it'll delete the commission. You can change the status. Um, right now it's approved. I'm going to change it to pending. And you can put a note that goes to the affiliate because it went from approved to something else. And uh, you see now it's pending. And the affiliate can see what happened there then. And with refunds, if somebody does get a refund on it, you can use refund management to come in and deal with the refunds that will take the commission back away from the affiliate. Um, once that refund is done, if you have it where people can get refunds after the affiliate commission is paid. And then you can also click Add Commission right here and manually put information in for a particular affiliate. Um, and that's a good thing if you've got a system with a telephone uh, where you take telephone orders that are referred by the affiliate and um, you can use the system for that to enter it in manually and they'll get the commissions. And that's the way you deal with commissions as they come in.